Hey guys, I'm Aaron, and today we're going to talk about how you go about making an amazing diffusion prompt inside of SketchUp. So we're going to, of course, be looking at uh, the diffusion extension that uses stable diffusion to create imagery from your model. So some people use this as like a renderer, kind of like to get realistic lighting and materials and that kind of stuff on there. Some people use this as a, a idea generation tool, like what, what would happen if I took this shape and finished it in certain looks and feels. Um, regardless of how you use it, the prompt you put in is going to have a huge impact on what you actually see when you, uh, you know, hit that stable diffusion button. So let's go ahead and check out uh, creating great prompts for diffusion for SketchUp. All right, so we're gonna hop right in here. I have a super simple model. So this is a little little box. Uh, it's not in a group or anything. It's just literally this shape. I have it kind of turned so the horizon's right in the middle and I see the peak rising up above. Um, that's it. There's nothing, nothing special to this at all. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, click the diffusion button. And I'm not gonna mess with a lot of this stuff, okay? So I'm not gonna play with styles. Uh, I'm not gonna really mess with, so I have a, 0.9 respect model geometry and then a nine prompt influence, which is the default. I'm just gonna leave it there. I'm not gonna mess with any of that stuff. The only thing we're gonna be playing with is right here. Uh, the one thing I am doing, I did create a scene. So I created a scene of this, this first, uh, where I'm at right now. So if I ever wanna jump back to this, you know, if I save different scenes in Diffusion, I can jump back to it pretty quick and easy. But really, other than that, we're just gonna, look at this right here. What do I type in here? So we're going to start with simple, right? So I'm going to say I want to make this a house in the country. Wow, that was how many seconds in? I already had a typo. That's on brand. Let's go ahead and hit generate. So of course, this is just going to take the, the, the super simple prompt I just put in, and it's going to create some images using stable, the stable diffusion uh, AI engine. And we'll look at that. Um, depending, I mean, how much time and energy you have spent on a prompt is sort of up to you. Uh, you can kind of make that call. But so here's here's what I got, right? Okay. Okay. So none of these are bad. I, I wouldn't say, you know, if, if I had no idea what to do with this shape, this could be a start. This could be something. Um, but these are pretty far apart. So if I was, if I was doing like, idea generation, right? So I don't know what I want to do with this thing. I just want to just, you know, this might work out okay. But I'm thinking I probably want to have a little more input than that. So there's a couple spots that I want to look at adding detail. The first one is about the structure itself. Um, so like, what kind of house is this? I just said house, right? So this, th these are, <laughs> these are definitely could be called houses. It gave me that. But let's say I want to take that a little bit further, right? So we say uh, country style home with a covered porch. Let's, let's go ahead and generate that. Notice I am coming back to the base model too. I don't want to expand upon these other ones. I want to just try to get the perfect prompt to take my base geometry and make that into the image that I'm looking for. So all I did here, so again, rather than just saying a house, um, I added country style, I added a covered porch, and we're gonna see how that changes what Diffusion does for getting me my images. All right, so let's take a look at what this is. Okay, so I don't know if I count that a porch, it looks more like a front step. Um, ooh, actually kind of like that. That's kind of cool. It pushed the entryway back in and kind of gave me a porch around the, the front. Okay, so yeah, so I got this kind of, it kind of moved an inset and gave me some space inside. So yeah, we got some cool stuff. I'm not really sure what's going on. I got a couple sidewalks. Maybe my neighbor's moving in right here and this is this is uh, their, their front entry. Um, but okay, so you, you can see I, I got something uh, coming along. Um, I might go a little bit further. Um, maybe like I'll say something like light blue country style home 
with a covered porch in the country. So I'm not worried about this back part of the prompt yet. So uh, we're, we're still in the country, whatever that means. But what I'm trying to do now is kind of develop out just those, those first pieces. So uh, right now, Stable Diffusion takes your geometry and it doesn't honor things like color, textures, or anything like that that you put on there. So I do want to, if there's a specific look or color I want, I want to make sure I put that in. So the type, the information specifics about the geometry you want, and then also uh, any colors you want, you need to specify. So we got that, it looks kind of like a shed. All right, so here we go. Now we're getting into to kind of the thing I want. So you'll notice with all of these, every one of these, um, they are really sticking to that shape I created. So my porch, when I do get a porch on here, it's staying inside the geometry. So I know I said it wasn't gonna be into this yet, but the settings, this is where I wanna go, okay, maybe I can say, let go, loosen up a little bit on the geometry, and maybe we'll bump up the influence. So now we'll go back to the home, and just making that little change, we'll say generate that. Again, this is gonna depend on how much geometry you're actually working with, right? So if I had my whole house mapped out, I could say really respect my geometry. In this case, I really have like a box. So the fact that I wanna maybe have a porch coming off of it means I'm gonna change my in prompt influence a little higher and maybe my respect geometry a little bit lower. So that still didn't do a whole lot. Let's try going just a little bit more. So we'll just do again, we'll drop down this a little bit lower and reset and regenerate. Again, this is gonna depend on where you're at in the design process. If you're coming in here and you have the full house, your architecturals are done, everything's, and I'm just trying to look for a finish or maybe landscape designs, then I'm gonna say, yeah, absolutely respect my geometry 100%. At this point where I'd say I'm in the ideation phase, I can drop that and you know let, let diffusion go a little bit further with, you know what is this gonna look like with, a, ooh, that's kinda, I like that. That's kind of nice. Um, yeah, so I'm, I'm definitely getting there. I might may even say, you know, maybe even a little bit more. Um, I'm sorry, I'm kind of having a little bit of fun right now. So uh, well, let's go ahead and run that one more time and then we'll, we'll move on and continue fine tuning this prompt. So this is a big part of it, changing your settings. And like I said, a big part of this is how locked in is your model? Are you in the idea? Are you, are you flexible to making changes, moving stuff around? If so, then I'm going to want to move my geometry higher, and my prompt influence maybe has a little bit less uh, impact that way. All right, so I'm getting some ideas here. I want to. I. 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 You, you probably notice as I click through here, I have a wide variety of what uh, my surroundings on my my space look like. So I'm going to maybe up level in the country. Um, let's say uh, with a beautiful, not ugly, but beautiful grassy yard and mountains in the distance. All right, so we'll revert back to original geometry, hit generate and see what that gives us. Again, we can put we can you know leave this up to uh, diffusion to make these calls on, on what something like in the country means, or I can take this on my own and say, okay, yeah, see now this is more what I'm looking for. This is a better solution. Oh yeah, like I like where this place is. Um, that gives me more of the setting I'm looking for. So. Uh, I like where this is going. Um, I'm gonna take it a step further uh, and I'm gonna actually give it a little more setting. So I got more information here about the house I want, where it's at, the surroundings, but now I'm gonna go a little bit further and I'm gonna set the, uh, the time of day and season. So I'm gonna say at sunset um, on a crisp fall day. I don't know how it's gonna show me crisp, but I'm willing to test it. Let's hit generate. Uh, yeah. So again, as I play with, with diffusion more and more, um, I do find that there are certain terms that make more impact than others in those adjectives, uh, even in ones that are interpreted, uh, definitely make a big difference. 
Okay, so yeah, so see, there we go. I like that, I like. And I got fall, so I got my fall colors back here, my trees in the background. Um, I like this. I think this is definitely getting closer to, to what I want. So um, uh, let's, try, let's try adding some terms to the covered porch to get that to pop out. So I'm gonna say a large covered porch, and then we'll just try regenerating that. See if that adjective, adding that to the thing I want is going to bump that out a little bit. This is always fun because we're sending this out to AI to generate and interpret my information. I can't really practice these videos, so <laughs> what I get back is is just as much a surprise to me as it is to you. So um, still not getting, my, oh, I got a porch here, but it hit, hit, hit it from me. So um, uh, cover, let's say front porch. And then uh, we'll re regenerate this one more time. And then we'll look at the difference in our prompts and the difference that prompts make. As you're seeing here, experimentation is, is part of the process. So I do have to kind of play with terms and see what works, what doesn't. And this is gonna depend, this is gonna vary too, depending on the types of work you do. Uh, if you have terms that you find work regularly for you, uh, you might you know be able to use that. Um, so, ooh, yeah, I like that. So I'm gonna add this as a scene real quick. And then I'm gonna go back to one of our first ones. And then, Add that as a scene. All right, so now if we take a look, here was our original model. This was a house in the country. And then this one was where we told it what kind of house, what color we wanted, what time of year, what time of day, and what was in the surroundings. So you can kind of see, I mean, they don't look bad, but there's a big difference between these two based on just those words that I chose to put in there and tell Diffusion how to generate the image I was looking for. So if, first off, let's, let's go to, if you haven't already used Diffusion, the extension, you should check it out. It's in SketchUp Labs, it means if you're a SketchUp user, you can go grab it and you can play with it. You have to be a subscriber, so you do have to have an active subscription, but then you can get in there and you can actually try it out. Uh, it, I mean, it's like all these AI generation. I mean, it is, it's stable diffusion. It is an AI generation tool, but it can take that geometry you have and give you some, some cool options. So this can be used, like I said before, maybe this is a design iteration thing. Try some different designs based on some words. Uh, this could be landscaping ideas. This could be, you know, try it out, give it a shot. But those are the things to think about as you go through and try to generate your prompt. Be specific about the structure itself colors matter because otherwise it's gonna gonna change that uh colors finish you know if you have a specific you know a tile roof that kind of thing give it specifics about how that's supposed to look and geometry uh and then the surroundings are huge you know tell it exactly where you want to put it when you want to put it what the place in is you want to put it uh but but those are the kinds of steps you want to add there uh you know it's possible too maybe you're just playing roulette and you just give me whatever you got that's cool too. Put fewer in, but uh, I have these are the these are the things. This is the process that I go through to get the best possible uh, renderings or the best possible images out of Stable Diffusion. If you like that video, click like down below. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe. We create several videos each and every week, and you'll be notified of all of them if you subscribe. Most importantly, though, leave us a comment down below. Have you tried Diffusion for SketchUp? What do you think about it? What do you think makes the ideal prompt to get the best image out? And do you have any other ideas? Do you, can you think of some things that you think would make good videos? We like making these videos a lot. We like them even more when they're showing something you want to see. Thank you.